Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can enable or disable assistive touch on the Apple Watch 7. So first, let's go back to your clock face by pressing on the crown button on the side. From your watch face, press on the crown button to go into the app screen. In here, tap on the settings icon. And in settings, you want to go down and tap on accessibility. Then we go down and tap on assistive touch. Tap on the switch at the top here to turn off or turn on assistive touch. Now, once it is on, you can see a blue ring around the side of the watch will light up. And after you have turned on, you can use hand stretches or motion pointer inputs to navigate around the menu items on your watch. So here, if I um, put my wrist down and then if I raise up like this, you should be able to see a blue ring uh, light up. This to indicate that we are now uh, using assistive, uh, assistive touch and using hand motion gesture, you can use the pinch or the clench to uh, simply uh, control the watch. So if I clench twice, uh, this should uh, activate a menu items. So I'm just going to bring up my watch and then if I clench twice, you can see the first item has been selected. And if I use a pinch motion, if I pinch once, it should go to the next item. You can see it goes to the next item. If I pinch twice, it will go backward. So you can go forward or backward, depends if you are pinching once or pinching, uh, pinching twice. You can also set um, uh, which action to use if you are pinching uh, one time or if you are pinching uh, twice or you clench once or twice. If you clench once, uh, it can uh, perform certain action depending on how you set it. So you can see here, if I uh, pinch twice, now it has gone off already because uh, we didn't use it uh, uh, in a certain, in a set amount of time. So again, I have to uh, basically activate that again. And in here you can see I can uh, do certain things. I can go back. Now you have to um, get used to this uh, settings because it's not easy to uh, navigate around the menu items if you are not used to using the pinch or the clench or the double pinch. So depending on how you um, depend on how you set your action, so you can do that from settings. So if you go into settings in here, you can see if we go into hand gestures, you can set pinch to move forward, backward, or tap. Uh, action menu. So there are a lot of things that you can set. So depending on how you set uh, the action uh, for your pinch mode or double pinch mode. And uh, from there, uh, you can uh, control how your assistive uh, touch work. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.